Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. A live peek in the Crescent City inside the Louisiana Superdome as we get set to start the New Orleans Bowl. Not only are these two teams playing for pride, not only are they playing for momentum, not only are they playing for a bowl trophy, there is an unsubstantiated rumor that the winner gets all the beignets they can eat in the post-game spread. Kickoff coming in the New Orleans Bowl. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. See how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Thompson deep to return. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 23 yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He's going to try and scramble. He airs it out. Caught out in the open. And down he goes at the 21-yard line. What a great play. This is the timing that we talked about in the pregame that they must have in order to be successful at their passing game. That time, the quarterback threw it to a spot, and his receiver was there to make a nice grab. is looking to go with a hurry up early in the game. Here we go, here we go, here we go. He scrambled. They'll bring him down just outside the goal line. Short yardage defense here. Fires to the end zone, picked off. Big opening. Touchdown, thundering herd. Great job here by the defender breaking on the ball and taking it to the house. Man, those pick sixes can really hurt an offense and have a lasting impact. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Smith has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line.
So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. from their own 23-yard line. It's second down. He's on the run. Going long. Down the sideline. And he stays in bounds, and he hauls in a big one. What a play. What a play is right. Here they throw the ball to the tight end, and the big guy shows that he's valuable not only as a blocker, but as a receiver as well. Nice catch. some time he sails it long great coverage and it's intercepted that's a great tackle at the 35 yard line and that's the second interception of the game by this defense these guys are all over the field it seems like wherever the quarterback throws the ball there's a defender sitting right there we've got a first and ten Ball on the 35-yard line. Marshall is up by a touchdown. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's taken down at about the 47-yard line. How about the big fellas up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. made at the 44 yard line that's good for a game of eight yards that'll make it third and one and he carries the ball for a nice game so with that run they pick up another first just a nice job again up front by the offensive line they're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. He dives, and he'll be marked down. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. is the eighth play of this drive. Yeah, I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. My 40, my 40. Run in. Room around the corner. Decent run here, right side. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings up second and five. Marshall is up a score. Scrambling. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. Outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. on the extra point. So that's an eight-play, 66-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. The score now, 14-0. Well, Kirk, good news. We saw him go to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury, but apparently he's all right. It looks like he's going to get back in the action here. 
taken from the three-yard line. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. Marshall's defense is playing lights out right now, pitching a shutout. Yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see this defense be able to maintain this. I, I just the way they're playing, the attitude that they seem to be playing with, if they can maintain the energy and the awareness of this offense, there's a very good shot that they could shut this offense out. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last hit. He just got to stick to the game plan. Turner takes a handoff. He fights forward to about the 29. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 29 yard line. Scrambling around. Out of bounds at the 32. Texas State got a guy behind center that can really do it all, Herbie. I mean, he's a dual threat. He can hurt you with his feet and his arm. With this guy, it's PYP. Pick your poison. From their own 32-yard line, it's third down. He's going to try and scramble. He wants it all. Caught open field. He's tackled right around the 22-yard line. He's racked up enough passing yards this season to be very close to entering the record books. He's carried the offense with his arm this season. As he goes, so does his ball club. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Tracy to haul it in, and he's taken down at the nine-yard line. They're going to go no huddle here. Pretty interesting early tactic. Probably want to see how this defense responds to it. The offense gets set as they attempt to put an end to these red zone blues. Throws to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. And that'll give him the NCAA record for passing yards in a season. He's an amazing competitor, and he's worked very hard this season. This was not an easy record to break. So he'll cherish this one for a long time. He makes the PAT. So a five-play, 73-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So the score now, 14-7. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. Marshall's the team that was supposed to roll over and play dead in this football game, and they're not doing that. I think what we've seen so far is some good execution, but just more of an attitude. They have shown up to play in this game with a confidence and a belief in one another that they're going to pull off an upset today. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Makes the catch and look out. And he's tackled around the 36-yard line. Marshall is up seven. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle at the 48. That makes it first and ten. Just gets rid of it. From their own 48-yard line. Second down. He scrambled. Slides down to the ground.
He throws it. He got a hand on it, but it's incomplete. From the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. Carter is hoping to boom this one down the field. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. Talk about scoring a huge first quarter by both teams. The Thundering Herd lead 14-7. We're back for more action here in quarter number two. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Straight run here, and he's got nowhere to go. That took a little too long to develop. Yeah, the offense was trying to get the pass rush going upfield, but the defense did a nice job of sniffing out the draw play and hitting them in the backfield. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. They'll take it inside, but the defense is ready. That brings us third and 12. He's on the run. Runs with it, and he's got room. Brought down at the 40-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40. Three down, three down. Hey, check by 46. Check by 46. Here we go. Here we go. Now he tries to buy some time. Now he's going to run and watch out. And they make the stop at the 48-yard line. Scrambling. Decides to tuck it in and he's got space. Decides to slide. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight. Ball on the 46. Now he's scrambling. Quick pass. He's brought down in the open field. From the 19 yard line, first down. He's got the corner. They hand it off. Runs outside for a nice game. And this play is number eight on the drive. Give to the tailback. Touchdown, Bobcats. He just put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. Taking a gamble here. This is for the lead. Check, check. Answer, answer. 
scrambling around. They got it. An eight-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with a two-point conversion. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. Ferguson gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And down he goes at the 26-yard line. him hard at the 45. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Sends it out quick. Intercepted. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. From their own 30-yard line, first down. Texas take up a point. He's going to try and scramble. Going long. And he got it to the sophomore. They'll bring him down at the 18. So the big game resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. And he's going to be sacked. Well, this quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. He's in trouble. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. That'll bring up third and long. It's third and long. Ball on the 25. He scrambled. Throws it and oh, he dropped it. That makes it fourth and nine. He's on the run. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Got the corner. So they turn it over on downs, and that's a big boost for this defense. In a close game like this one, it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. 
Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Throws it deep. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. We've got third and ten. Ball on the 15. Coming to you, coming to you. Nice run there. Payne picks up about four yards on the play. Texas State's going to use their first time out of the half here. Wallace, back deep to return. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. The Bobcats, and over the years, have had great quarterbacks. They've got another one. He's proving to be that here in the first half, and he's the true leader of this group right now. Leadership. You, you hit the nail right on the head. This team is, is moving the football, but it has everything to do with this young man and what he's been able to do for them. Because, it's again, he's making great throws. Uh, he's, he's making good checks at the line of scrimmage. But the thing that's standing out to me is his leadership and the way this team responds to that leadership. And that's why this team right now has played as well as they have. From the 38-yard line, it's first down. Texas State with a one-point lead. Tries to buy some time. Pressure coming. Tackle made at the 27. That makes it first and ten. Quick out to his receiver. He's taken down around the nine yard line. second timeout. They're at the seven. It's second down. And he's hit before he could go anywhere. The Bobcats using their third and last timeout. That makes it third and goal. Threw a touchdown pass to his wideout. Yep, good job of protection, and the quarterback spotted his man. And he converts the extra point. The Bobcats wide out, out with an apparent injury, although he make a comeback before this game's over. I have a feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff, most likely to end the half. He's to the 20. Oh, what a hit. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. They'll knock him down for a loss. There's been no lack of scoring here as we've reached halftime. Texas State's up by eight. 